also, I want to say that a lot of what I've reported um, has kind of like inadvertently been admitting to a lot of the, the things um, around us. Like I talked to you about in high school, um, pretty much when I was 14 forward, I would always just wear a black hoodie and would never come out of it. Yeah, that's like exactly who's visiting me at night. And also you guys gave reference to the doors, Jim Morrison right above me. I don't think that's a coincidence that I did that. I think I knew that I was getting raped by someone who looked unfortunately way less attractive than Jim Morrison. Um, and it was kind of like a way to deal with it. Um, I think that's actually, you're gonna be like, oh, that's dissonance. I actually think it's evidence of what I already knew. And I do think that wearing the, I still wear all black, and you guys attribute it to this, oh, it's slimming and this and that. I think it's always been kind of a um, unconscious protest, um, admitting what I know, saying without saying, what your team likes to do all the time. Uh, so I think I always knew. I also know that when I was around 12, 13, I developed a total flat affect. Um, I, I was very um, jaded and very like, what I like fucking Daria face, like just like in high school. And I've reported that to you, but that is usually a sign of being raped um, pretty severely as well. Well, yeah comes with the territory of a good old gangbang, you know, way to lose your virginity formula. Another question that has been asked is, well, how could you not tell with vaginal damage? Um, because there's a few reasons for that. Um, one, I do believe that the people in, were given instruction to not um, do vaginal damage, um, um, to not insert vaginally until at that gangbang. In fact, I can tell by what they were doing and not doing that they weren't doing that. So I didn't even know to look for that. Um, I know it's graphic, but I did notice um, um, anal bleeding sometimes. And I was told that it must have been hemorrhoids, though uh, no hemorrhoids were ever found. Okay. Um, also kind of unusual for young kids to have hemorrhoids. I was not allowed to go to doctors. It was explained to me that it was too expensive, but um, I wasn't allowed to go to doctors unless it was like some other way to get me in like why I had to get a sports physical to uh to get on the sports team that my pedo father wanted me to be on so he can sit there and take pictures of all the girls you know like it was seldom worth it to anybody so I my my parents both of them um taught me not to go to the doctor um I also was very prone to extremely high fevers you guys have even I believe backed this up to say oh see that could be brain damage as some of them reached 105. I now understand that one of the biggest causes for fevers that high is um, getting injected by antibiotics, which is the same thing that causes sudden um, complete deafness in one ear, like my sister has. And if you have paid half attention, you'd understand that she is the one who has that. Yeah, because I don't think I'm alone here in this. And um, she will deny anything always because she's really fucking weak, okay? That's why she's always been the weak one. You guys will beg to differ, but everybody fucking knows it. And um, so that explains that as well. Then you guys say that I'm deaf in one ear. I'm not. I might be slightly soft on hearing. I do, well, last time I tested, which has been a while now. So you said loud music, antibiotics, getting injected. So um, someone did ask me, do you think you've been raped during Star Wars? I don't know. Um, I don't know because if I'm given something and then I fall asleep and then history runs its course, it's very, I, I would say it's probable. I won't say that I have an active memory of it. Uh, I would say it's very probable that I have been during Star Wars. Um, what I will say is that I do know that I have had a couple fevers now that have been about 105 during Star Wars. So that makes me think antibiotics. Um, so, um, yeah, these things to say um, that the, um, the memories are there. But, um, and actually some of the things I've been talking to you about uh, do make total sense. But um, that, um, yeah, I didn't really realize that. That's what I was mapping out for you. And you guys came up with a whole slew of other crazy sounding reasons why all this stuff fits into place. But all your stuff, I guess what I would say is all your billion and a half explanations are all random and varied and have some tall tale attached with very little evidence but all mine 
all clicks into place. Everything makes sense now. So if you're looking for who's telling the truth and who's not, I don't know, who's taking a billion different random unattached stories that have no kind of basis in, with evidence and trying to fix, fix the problem by patching it up every little piece and who's telling you a cohesive story that now everything makes sense. But it'd be me versus them. Okay, that's why they're saying MOs that don't exist, etc. cetera. 